What's going on everybody? It is Andrew from IS Faster and in today's video we are going to talk about the tires that I run on my Lexus ISF which are the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s and give you a little review on what I think about them. So thank you for joining me in today's review. We're going to talk a little bit about how I found out about these tires, what I think about them, dry traction, wet traction, how I like them at the drag strip, on road courses, on canyon drives, um, cost, what I think about them road noise wise and just overall feel. So hopefully I can um, get most of the questions that I've received from these as I've been running them for, like I said, nearly two years now with great success. I'm actually on my second set of these tires, so I really do enjoy them. So stick around and let's get this uh, review started. Okay, so let's first talk about how I came to find out about these tires. Back in February 2017, I was looking for a new set of tires because the stock Michelin Pilot Super Sports that, I, that came with this car were going out. The fronts were corded, so I needed new tires uh, pretty quickly. And that was right around the time that the PS4Ss were coming out. And But my friend said, hey, check out these Firestones. And at first I was kind of hesitant, like Firestone, I don't know if I really want those tires. You know, not, not, they might not be high performance like I want, but he said, just give them a, just give them a look. Um, they seem to have re good reviews and I did. And um, I, I was more amazed at the price of them. I said, no way, these tires are too cheap. Um, these are gonna be like junk tires because, you know, good things that cost money, right? Well, I said, you know what? I, I looked them up a little bit and they're actually the Bridgestones uh, RE-03s in Asia and they, have gotten pretty good reviews um, from there, from the people that have tried them. So I said, what the heck? They're, you know, cheap enough that, it, you know, it shouldn't be too bad if they overall stink. So I'll give them a shot. But now here I am uh, nearly two years later on my second set and uh, 12,000 miles of driving or so, five track days and oh, 400, maybe 450 passes at the drag strip with them. So they're actually really good tires. I can't say enough uh, good things about them, especially the value that you get for your dollar. So let me give you a couple stats. My first set lasted about 11,000 miles and four road course days and 350 to 400 passes at the drag strip. They ended up being, they ended up cording on my um, fourth track day. And that's when I, you know, had to get the, the, the uh, second set, which I'm on now. The first set that I got were 245s in front and 275s in the rear. And the second set that I got afterwards are 255s in front and 285s in the rear. So now I'm on my second set of these tires because I like them so much and um, I've taken them to one road course day as well as it, as as well as maybe 25 to 35 passes at the drag strip with them. So, and about a thousand miles of driving. And so I, I think I have a very good feel of how these compare to, um, you know, the, the original set, which isn't really too much but, uh, you know, comparing it to the Pilot Super Sports. I have not tried the PS4Ss, the Continental Extreme Contacts, or any of those in these sizes, so I can't give you a true comparison of how they feel, but I'm just gonna give you an idea of what I think about them um, and the style that I drive. <laughs> Now, as far as dry grip goes, I think they, um, they they hold onto the ground pretty well. If you're just doing normal daily driving, these are great tires. If you're not gonna go to the track, these are excellent tires. These are gonna be anything that you need and more for just daily road you know, driving. Even, even if you want to go to the canyons or just have a little fun, these are absolutely great tires. Um, you know, there I've never, you know, unless it's very cold outside, I'd say under 40 degrees or so when the compound doesn't get warmed up. Yeah, you, you, you'll you slip, but you know, just normal right, street driving. No, th these will hold on to anything that you're going to put it through during the street, unless you got traction control off and you're just driving like a crazy man. But if you're just kind of driving, driving normally, these are great. Uh, road noise wise, no change from the Pilot Super Sports that I had. 
I don't hear any road noises uh, that these tires produce. I do have a catback exhaust on my car, but there's no humming. There's no weird, um, you know, sounds during freeway, um, city driving, anything like that. So definitely a uh, thumbs up on that, on that perspective. Now, as far as wet driving goes, I'm in Southern California and it rarely ever rains here. But when it does, I have driven this car in the rain and I don't have any issues with, uh, you know, hydroplaning or anything like that. I've driven on the freeway. I've driven on the, um, on the normal city streets and just these, you know, it, like I said, if you are not driving like a crazy man, traction control off, trying to do, uh, you know, slides and everything, these tires will hang on just normal driving. If you are, you know, doing that other stuff, then obviously they're going to let loose like most other tires will in the rain. So as far as wet traction goes, I think these are really good tires and they do have the chance, they have three pretty decent sized channels in there and um, good, um, I guess, I don't know if you'd call them vents or whatever to extract the water away from the tire. So they're definitely um, uh, good in normal, you know, day driving in the rain. Now, uh, as far as drag strip goes, I think these tires are really good. From, you, from what you can see from my videos, I would think that you may think the same thing because they hook pretty well. No, they're not a drag slick. Um, they're not going to hook as good as those. I've you know raced other Fs with drag slicks on and they don't grab like those do. But that should be um, a given since they are a street tire. Now, I've gone to the 285 setups in the back from the 275s and I did run one night um, uh, this past month and I couldn't really tell too much of a difference um, between the 275 and 285 as, as far as grip goes. Um, I usually run with the traction control light or traction control fully on at the, at the drag strip because it's not exactly the most prepped surface there. But if I go to the drag strip that is the more prepped surface, I can you know put turn everything off and these will hook and go. So as far as um, drag strip wise, I think they're a decent tire for hooking. Um, and I think my videos kind of speak volumes for how well they are hooking on there. Now talking about the canyons, um, I have gone through a lot of canyons here around where I live and I like the way that these tires feel. Um, they are, you know, they, they turn in well, they are progressive when you are losing any traction. So it's not like you're just going to turn in somewhere and, oh my gosh, I'm going to, you know, I've lost front or rear traction and um, they definitely let you know they're, they'll start howling right when they're about to lose grip. And so they, they definitely will let you know when you are at their limit. Um, they do get greasy after a while, but it, it definitely, you know, it, it would be a hotter day and um, it'd be a, a decent canyon drive for them to get greasy enough for you to really feel it. Um, I, I'll talk about that more on road courses, but as far as just, you know, normal canyon driving, just hooning around up there, these are great tires for doing that. They really let you, they give you good feedback, um, you know, bumps in the road and everything. They let you know what is happening and they make sound to let you know, hey, I am at my limit. You are gonna lose grip very soon if you do not back off a little bit. So I really like them in the canyons and I definitely give them a good, uh, good review, a good thumbs up. Now, as far as road courses go, um, I think these tires are pretty good for, like I said, the money that you will spend on them. I'll talk about that later and compare them against other, you know, top competitors, uh, tires that people use, but for the money, they are bang on track tires. Now, I'm not going to say there are comps or say anything too wild, but for street tires, they're pretty good. Um, I've ran three different road courses, all different styles with these tires. And um, I will say that about after five laps of, you know, going as fast as you can, they get hot, they get greasy, and, you know, you kind of have to, 
back off a little bit or you just play with the slide. I actually think that's a little bit fun to do. I don't, you know, make money or anything from racing. So I really don't care to, to shave, you know, every little tenth of a second. I mean, that's more just of a personal challenge for me to do that. Um, so I think that for the money, these are very good uh, you know track tires if you are just getting into it if you want dedicated sets then definitely go r comps but if you're just getting in, into it like i am these you cannot beat the value of um you know i i did see a review of a guy that reviewed these tires against pilot super sports and the pilot super sports were about a second quicker on um, the track that he was on so if that second matters to you then you know go go for it P uh, pay the extra money for those but as far as um just driving like i said five laps and um they'll get greasy but those first those first five you'll you'll, you'll do all right but i you know I, I like just playing around with the um with the slides and everything it makes the track days pretty fun to me so um i i would recommend them for you know the beginner somebody that or somebody that just wants to have fun and isn't too you know caring about you know losing a second or so here or there um as far as turning uh on the on the racetrack the 255s have been a lot better than the, than, the, than the 245s. I can definitely feel better turn in when I am uh, when I'm when I'm driving fast. So I do appreciate the wider um, track that I have now. The rears couldn't really tell a difference. Um, you know, I mean, you're not you're not drag racing, so you're not going to really spin the tires or anything like that when you're taking off. It's kind of just normal, you know, driving around. There's no real slowdowns where you're going to a dead stop in a road course. So um, you know, the, it's good to have that extra traction there, but I don't think it's a make or break. I think the extra traction or the extra width in the front is more, um, is, is more advantageous than having extra in the rear. Now let's go ahead and talk about cost because you keep mention or you keep hearing me mention about value with these tires, and this is one of the main reasons what drew me to them in the first place. So I went to TireRack.com to keep things you know even and fair because I know everybody's got a hookup for the tires, and I don't really care about that because if if you, if you want to keep it fair and neutral, then just go to TireRack.com. See, this is where I buy my tires from. So just see what they have. And um, this is these are what the prices are today, not including any rebates or anything like that. And these are in the 255 35 fronts and 275 30 rears. I picked this size because not all the tires had 285s in back like I run right now. So for the prices, the Indy 500s in those sizes were $678. For the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, one thousand one hundred and forty dollars. Or the Continental Extreme Contact Sports were nine hundred and twenty-four dollars. Uh, the Goodyear Eagle F1s were nine hundred and fifty-eight dollars for those tires. So if you are, you know, surprised by any of that, um, you know, that's kind of just what it is. That means that that goes to show that. These Firestones are 60% of the price of those PS Forests. They are 73% of the price of the Continental Extreme Contact Sports, and they are the they are 70% of the Goodyear Eagle F1 tires. So I think that's a pretty big contrast in price for performance. I'm not gonna you know knock these tires down and say um, they're not worth it or or anything, but I find it very hard to believe that they are that much better than these tires um, as far as price goes. I think these tires, if I had to say, were, are probably 90% of the tire that any of those three tires are. And, um, you know, if you are watching this video and you work for Goodyear, Continental, or Michelin, you want to send me a set? Come on down. I will review them and compare them to these Firestones. But I do not think that they will um, match up to the price you're going to pay for them. Uh, and that goes, and that's also based off of 
videos and reviews that I've seen. If you go to the um, Tire Rack website and look up the uh, Indy 500 reviews, you're going to see, you know, I think four and a half star reviews on these tires from a very wide range of of uh, vehicles that are running them that people have written reviews about. And one of the good things about these tires is they make them in a lot of sizes. So there's a lot of variation for what people can, um, or what, what tire, or I'm sorry, what vehicles they will fit on. So you're going to see everything on there, um, uh, on those reviews. So like I said, cost is what brought me to these tires or one of the main reasons what, what brought me and keeps me to these tires because I had the Pilot Super Sports. Granted, they were in the 225 and 255 sizes um, before, but I thought, you know, I thought both those, those super sports were good tires, but when I put these Firestones, I couldn't tell a difference. I mean, they, they did have, they were wider, so they had more grip, but as far as road feel, road noise, grip at the uh, racetrack, they were actually better. They actually, I shaved down a couple tenths of a second because of the um, wider size, but I said, no way am I going to pay this extra money because these tires are pretty good for what I use them for. And, um, they're just uh it's just my personal preference so um if you think if you're thinking about going down you know you don't you don't want to pay these higher prices anymore i give these firestones a, a shot uh, i'm not the first one to do any reviews on youtube go watch a couple other videos and i i bet you people are going to be saying the same thing so hopefully uh that that kind of rounds out the, the the main reason why uh, i bought these tires is because of the value you cannot beat these for the price especially against the gold standards if you will of this uh this tire um section all right so next up let's talk about fitment with these um with these tires these are like a, you know the 255 35 19s on my eight and a half inch wheel, stock like Sia SF wheel. And they do bulge a little bit compared to the 245s, but um, I definitely appreciate the extra grip that they give. So, you know, feels, feels the same as uh, the 245s did. You can probably tell that I do have the upgraded, or I think they're upgraded, um, rotors they're the slotted rotors i'll be doing a re review about those in a you know pretty soon but this is what they look like now some people have asked do you recommend 255s in the front if you have the 08 to 2011 wheels and i think 245 would be a better size just because they are a half inch um half inch narrower I think this is about the biggest size I would go on these wheels. I would not do a 265. I think it would be just bulge too much, but these do have a really strong shoulder and, um, you know, you can kind of tell where I've worn it a little bit at the road courses, but like, I guess there's a normal wear line and there's on the road course. What happens there when you're hitting those corners pretty, pretty hard, but they wear well and, um, I really do like them. Here's here's what they look like on the back. Uh, these are nine and a half inch stock Lexus 2012 wheels. So a little bit more of a bulge than the 275s. Um, but both of my both of my uh, front and rear, I do not have any rolled fenders or anything. And these are the stock. This is the stock ride height in the back. These are in, let's see for you. Oh, it's upside down, but 285, 3019s. And um, they don't they don't rub or anything like that. So uh, no issues there. I do have the Swift springs in the front of my car. And um, otherwise it's a stock suspension height wide but um do not have any rubbing issues nor do i have the fenders rolled at all um, so no rubbing especially in the i guess turning full left and right um, reverse and uh, forward so 
hopefully that gives you a better idea of how they look on the car. I actually think they uh, fill up the wheel wells very nicely. And then here's kind of a side shot. I'll give you a little idea of the tread pattern just by going to the rear here. So pretty, pretty good looking tread pattern as well. So to address one of the main questions that I had when I upgraded to the 255 35s in front and the 285 30s in back was everybody asking, are these going to rub? Are they going to rub? And the answer for me is no. I drive, you know, I'll drive it and I'll put in park, reverse and go full left, full right. No rub on the liner, anything in there. So that really, um, you know, was good to hear because I was a little scared about that myself going from the 245s uh, and front and 275s and back. So very good to uh, have put the, you know, a couple uh, hundred, if not a thousand miles or so on my car, ran a road course and uh, drag, drag raced it. So I have a pretty good feel for these new, um, you know, bigger sizes of this Indy 500. No rubbing as uh, and I do have the Swift Springs in front. Otherwise, no uh, no other uh, suspension modifications to the car under, other, other than the lower control arm bushing, which I don't think is going to have real, really any effect on fitment. But um, yeah, I really you know I really like the uh, the way that these sit make the car sit, look, and feel. So thank you again for watching this review about the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s. I hope you found them uh, found it helpful and uh, got some information that you may have not known about them before. Like I said, I think I have a pretty good feel of these tires and um, you know with the miles that I've driven along with the road course and drag racing that I do. Um, I really do recommend these tires if you are not trying to you know shave every single second off that you can and you are like me and like to save a couple bucks. Uh, so like I said, for value, I do not think that these tires can be beat, um, as, you know, especially going up, up, up against the gold standards of the segment. And I really think that you will enjoy these tires if you give them a shot. So hopefully you found um, this review helpful. If you did, please give it a like uh, and subscribe. I'm gonna link up a couple more videos right here, right here, right here, and right here for more content on my channel. So hopefully you like um, listening, listening to my voice and hearing what I have to say. If you do have any more questions about these tires, please let me know and I will try and um, answer your, uh, your questions in the comments section. If there are enough questions, maybe I'll just do an extra video. So um, thanks again for watching this and we'll talk to you soon.